Now, uh, the new DUI, DUI laws came into effect in uh, September of this year. Yeah, Ms. House Bill 61, I believe it was. And th that means that any DUI, uh, that any person that was charged with DUI after the bill came into effect, not right. before, well, my, uh, my buddy, be my buddy Greg Cox calls it the double down law, and the re reason for that is, is because uh, if you blow a .15, which is you know double uh, the legal limit, uh, you're going to have to well, number one, face double fines instead of a $600 fine, you're going to be paying like a $1,200 fine. Mm -hmm. Instead of a mandatory uh, 90 day uh, suspension, it's going to be a year suspension on the, on the uh, driver's license. Now next year, uh, they're going to bring into what's uh, into play what's called the ignition interlock device, which if you've blown a point one five, you may be required to put an uh, interlock device on your car at three dollars a day, which is going to complicate a lot of things, I believe. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. We want. Um, I was actually calling in. I was curious to find out what are some of the key changes that have taken about with the. Um, the new DUI law here in Alabama is the first part, and the second part would be if a child was in the vehicle, what would that incur? Let me answer All that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the biggest change is what we just got through talking about, and that is the, uh, the doubling of the fines and the doubling of the time. And uh, as far as the child being in the car, that can al almost be an automatic uh, ignition interlocking device uh, case. Mm -hmm. I, explain to our viewers what an interlocking device is. Well, it means it's it's if you uh, if you, you blow into it and if you blow over point two, the car won't start. And again, at what point do you have one of those put on your car? Uh, if you if you blow the point one five, and then you, you're going to be saying, in line. I'm saying, is this like on your second offense or your? It can be on your first offense if it's okay. a point one five. It okay. can be on your first offense. Okay. If, of course, if you've gotten uh, another one within five years, and it was point one five two, you're in trouble. Yeah. You're going to have that device and, on there. And what about the child in the vehicle? The child in the vehicle, they can mandate there? that you put an interlocking device on that too. Yeah. And this mm -hmm. is all new. This, this has never been done in Alabama before. Well, the, the, the part about the child is, uh, is, 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 kind, of, is kind of new okay. uh, in, in compared to the old law.